from Florida. I know you say if you're able to tithe, then you can send love off. If you can't tithe, send love offerings or plant a seed. I don't understand how it goes, but could you please explain? Well, uh, someone like yourself that's um, on a fixed income, uh, I mean, I'm not going to take away, but I, I, I simply do not like people to do without their medicine or food and have some preacher tell them they got to give 10% of what they have when 10% old time was, uh, it went into the, much of that you've already paid a tithe on when you earned it in the first place because it's insurance, social security that you're collecting. I don't like for our senior citizens to go hungry or do without medicine um, when just a love offering will get it done, okay? It'll bring God's blessings. Uh, because if you don't have anything, you don't have anything to give. It's just that simple. I'll say it again. If you don't have anything, you don't... 10% of zero is, let me figure, it's zero, okay? But then if you have a love offering on top of that, it magnifies it. Okay, it's a lot more in God's eyes, like the widow's mind, okay? So, God bless you, I love you, and um, I, I know, hey, I get letters from pastors that really scold me pretty severely for telling senior citizens that to not give a tenth of whatever it is they have. But I, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. In the old days, the church was the government, and you had the 10% took care of the army, the food, and everything else. Well, now uh, the church is not the government, okay? Uh, and therefore, many of you give more than 10% already in taxes to the government. Now, don't mix oranges with apples here or anything else, but I'm just letting you know uh, um, that sometimes when people tell you certain things you need to think and use a little wisdom. Um, and I, I know a lot of people would say, well, you're a strange, funny preacher because all the rest of them beg for money. Well, most of them beg for money, I'll say. Well, if you're really teaching God's Word, you don't have to beg because God doesn't send out beggars. I guess it shows why we're not on too many Christian stations, huh? But that's, that's the way God teaches. That's God's Word, and that's the way it is. 10% of zero, I don't care what, how you want to figure it, it's still zero. Um, and if, if those that might think I'm trying to rob some pastor, hey, if you're teaching God's word, God's going to see that you have what you need to operate, do his work, period. Trust him. Trust God, preacher, and you'll be a lot better off. End of subject. Anthony.